Hey guys, Mama Mita here, and today we are doing a video. And guess what? It is the squib cake. Oh my goodness. And guess what I've done? I've invited a couple people over that are very special to me, and they don't really have a lot of cooking skills, so I hope you won't be falling out of your chair laughing too much with these two guys, but I figured it's a good time for them to get some cooking skills. You know, someday they're going to get married and they're going to have kids and they're going to have to teach your kids how to cook too, right? So we're on to the squib cake. So our ingredients today is going to be eggs and we got a little bit of flour and then um, some vegetable oil spray to spray on the pan. And then we got the cake mix, the frosting and some vegetable oil. Then we've got our measuring and our uh, our pans and stuff for them to do. Super moist. <laughs> Red frosting. So, <laughs> I hope we're ready for this, guys. So, let me introduce you to my two guests today. The camera's still going, Mom. Okay, so just glutton for a potter's fit today because they need it. <laughs> They've been doing nothing but making me laugh all morning long. Didn't even tell me I'm trying to do another video and didn't even tell me that my lipstick was not right. I asked them and they just didn't even, I don't know if they, why they did that, but I look awful. Like and so now I had to take the lipstick off and now I look like a dead face. But anyway, that's okay. I guess a dead face is better than a wampus cat with my hair today and the wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have on this end here, we have little Ferris, and he is the grandson. Say hello, Ferris. Hello. <laughs> hello. And then next to Ferris, we have Faze. Faze is my son. Oh, yes. He's the one who does all those wild little things in the videos with people dancing and doing all that kind of crazy stuff. Oh, my goodness. Lord, help me. When you got seven kids and 11 grandkids, let me tell you, life is never a dull moment in our house. And did I mention to you guys that we are a very big international family? Let me give you a flash of this international family. There you go. We've got family all over the world. And so we are ready, boys. So the first thing you boys want to do is you want to grab that blue bow. The blue bow. I'm going to be sitting on the side here telling them. Okay, so you're going to put that over on the counter. And you see that super moist chocolate cake? Super moist. Okay. You're going to look on the back of it. It should tell you some instructions. Heat oven to 350 for shiny metal or glass pan, or 325 for non-stick pan. Grease bottom only 13. Oh, God. Right. So we're using a metal pan, right? Right here? Well, no. You're, you're not. We're not going to use a metal pan. We don't have another metal pan. We are in a bachelor's pad here, guys. <laughs> we are lucky we even found the spoon. I'm serious. <laughs> we got top ramen, though. <laughs> it's like, we got top ramen up to the ceiling, but we don't have a spoon. <laughs> We're doing really well here. Okay, so you're going to take that cake mitts and you're going to empty it into that bowl. All right. Let me be honest, and on the back of that box, Ferris, what does it say? Does it say one third cup of vegetable oil? Uh, one half of vegetable oil. That sounds good. A half. A half a cup? Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, put the whole thing oh, in. Okay, so Ferris, you're going to put a half a cup of vegetable oil. The vegetable oil is down there with the little measuring cup. And only put a half a cup, Ferris, because we don't want the poop from putting too much. <laughs> not that it might not come out like this how <laughs> you boys have really got it together oh my goodness okay so a half a cup where on the measuring cup would you see a half a cup you got it ferris okay well, check it out, Ferris, because he's got a college education. I'm not trying to put my pants, so please make sure you don't put too much. <laughs> I do that. How much you got, Ferris? Enough for a wampus cat. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> oh my god, you guys, it's like freaking rocket science. No, you got it, you got it, you got it exactly. Just put it to the half a cup. That's good enough. Okay, Ferris. That's a half a cup, so put it. Sorry, just get it. It's done. Don't put too much, Ferris. 
<laughs> okay, so put that inside there. Then you're gonna put one and a fourth cup of water. So put that in there, okay. So put one whole cup of water, Ferris. Or actually let Faze have a turn. Faze, you're gonna put one cup of water. Ferris, that's gonna fall in the bowl and you're gonna have a big chocolate mess. Wait, how much you want, one and a half? One cup. Put one cup, Faze. Okay, and then put a fourth of a cup. A fourth, Faze. You can't make, was that a fourth? Yeah. You should put it in there. Okay, well, let me, okay, let me, okay, turn the water off, back up, let's, now, here's the thing. When you measure something, you want to make sure that it's sitting down. Oh, it was, it was good. It was, it was. Well, you better hope it's fine, because if it's not, you can, okay. Now you want dead. three eggs. Oh, God. You're going to crack three eggs without shells. Don't put the shells in the cake mitt. Shells are good, they have extra Okay. Yeah. Ooh, one shell. One shell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, now you're going to take, okay, so that's wait, all you're going to put. Wait, so you put wait, one and a fourth. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So you, don't do that. <laughs> so you're going to put one and a fourth. Okay, you put the, all the ingredients. Now you're going to take the little whip. Whip, whip. And you're gonna take the little whip and you're gonna measure, uh, whip it up, face. Why don't I whip it up? Very cool, though. Whip it up, really good. Don't get the chocolate everywhere. Okay. Okay. So now, face while he's whipping that up, what are you doing over there? Oh, he's away. How you bro? Oh, oh, okay. All right. Just leave him there for a second. I broke right it on him. Okay. Just leave him in a secret. Okay. So now, take your cake pan. Okay. Which one? Baby one. Well, the baby or the you're going to have a big cake mitt, so we'll make sure we fill that one a little bit up. Do both cake pans. That'll be fine. So take that spray, and you're going to spray the inside of the cake pan a little bit. Not heavy, just a little bit. You know, a little bit, a little bit more. It's <laughs> good. Uh, maybe a little bit on that side there. It's a bit shiny. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Then you're going to do the same thing to that one. Did you get the sides too? What about there? Yeah, about there, sir. Okay, all right. Good. Okay. Okay, you mixed up the cake mix completely? Real good. Oh, yeah, real like good. really, really good? Let's check and see. Really tasty. You ate it? Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's really tasty. All right. So you just don't want any little lumps because then that means it's not mixed up very well. Oh, okay. It's delicious. Okay. So now you're going to put, you're going to take some of this cake mix and you're going to put some of it in, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I almost forgot the most important thing. Now over there is a container that's got flour in it. Ooh, that works. Okay, so you're gonna take a little bit of the flour. How much? She's gonna a little bit. It's kind of hard to hold it. Okay, so now you're gonna do this. You're gonna shake the flour shake, around. Shake, First, you got that kind of really. You're gonna shake it around. You're gonna dust the pan with it, dust like it, what uh, it, Faze has done. Dust it, dust it. Give it a little shake, give it a little shake. And if it doesn't get the size, then you're going to have to get some more out of that little container there, the brown container, because oh. you don't want your cake sticking. Oh, you want the size? <laughs> and make sure you wash your hands for this. We totally did. <laughs> no, I did. I did. I did. You did? No. That's probably good, right? That's good? That's good. They see when these boys grow up. They uh, might 30. not know how to make a gourmet uh, meal, I am but they'll know how to make a birthday cake for their kids. <laughs> okay, Ferris, you might have to do some more on your side. Get some more flour and sprinkle it. Just hold the pan up like that on the side and sprinkle the sides and let it come down. Yeah. 
So Faze, you want to put about that much in there, like half of the pan. And then the rest of it will go for the little baby cake. Yeah, and then you want to just make sure that there is a, that it's like dusty, like dusty around the side so that the cake don't sit. Dusty, dusty, dusty. You're not supposed to eat raw cake mix. It's Why got not? raw eggs in it. No, <laughs> I've eaten worse. Okay, all right. Like what? Okay, that, that's pretty good. Okay, so now, okay, Faze, put a little bit more and then put the, all the rest of it in uh, Ferris's pan. Okay. Little baby cake's gotta have some. There you go. Ferris, hold that pan still so it doesn't spill. Yeah, Ferris. I don't want no chocolate mess. Alright, plus Faze's gonna get it. No. Yeah, no. Okay, alright, so now yours is ready. And then Faze is ready. So you're gonna. And Faze, you probably could put the rest of that in your little pan. My little pan. I'm a little bit Okay. Okay, so now you're gonna put that in the sink for cleanup time. Now you're ready to put the cakes in the oven on the top rack. First go, my hands are. Okay, so that should go for 30 minutes. And let's see how it's going to look. So, Ferris, or actually, Faze, you know how to do your uh, oven, so put it for 30 minutes. Timer for 30 minutes. Wow, look at that. He's got skills, Ferris. all time. I still cook cake. There you go. All right. So now we're going to stop the camera and we're going to wait for that to bake your cake. Oh, nom nom. So what I do is I make sure, because it, sometimes it could actually stick, I make sure that I take something that's really soft and I make sure that it just moves away from the cake pan. So when I go to flip it, that it will it will do that. It'll just come right out of the pan. Oh, that thing over there? That's the whole, yeah. That's the whole reason why you want it to um, have the, the cooking spray and the flour, because it keeps it from the bread, the, the cake bread from sticking to the side of the pan. So when you flip it, it comes out easy. But it flip, it comes out usually pretty good with it being cooler. It smells really good. Right now it's still hot. So we wait 10 minutes? Yeah, wait about 10 minutes. That's okay. Cool off. So you're gonna let it cool for 10 minutes? Yeah, let it cool for 10 minutes. And then you'll be ready to flip it. Okay, keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, What's that on the bottom? That's the flour. Oh. But you'll have icing over it, so you won't be able to see that. So let me clean this up. All right, first your turn. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Hot. So we're back now, and the boys have got their squib cakes out, and they are frosting them. So let's see how this goes. Not great. Why does it look melty? I'm going to take a look at brown one. brown one. Why is there a bump in the center? Oh yeah, we have to do the size. And make it perfect though. Oh god, I am not doing the best job of this one. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Wait, should I be only brown? Uh, yeah, because you want to do the top right away, right? Yours looks so much better than mine. Mm. Ah, no. Oh, it might be because mine's small. Oh, 
Okay, so then once you finish that, then you want to take like a little napkin and clean up the edges of your, or clean up around this part here of your cake so it looks more professional. Okay, she's fine. It looks good, but now you need to clean up um, around the plate, all the smears and stuff. Then you'll be ready to put your symbol on there. Okay, I'm going to stop that so we can get the white stuff. So now we're back. And so the boys are frosting the side part of the cake. Oh wait, we gotta microwave it first though, don't we? Mm -hmm. Don't wait to microwave it? A little bit, just a teeny bit. You don't want it to be runny, uh, cause then it'll run all over the bow. How long? <laughs> How four long? Seconds, four seconds? Uh, like maybe say, just 10 seconds. See how 10 seconds go. Yeah, I think you put a big lump on top and then go down. That's what I did. Kind of like this thing, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, and then spray it. So then you don't have to worry about the top part. People say we're done. <laughs> why? What happened? And then, like, not taste, not really sides. Not the sides, why? Because you have the jack on the side then. Yeah, because we're just doing it over the I'm just getting this to do something. Hey guys. What are you doing with this live? I'm going to stick it. Okay, put them more over here. Back at it again. Making Back at it again. Making a warm mistake. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I said that correct. It's not a warm mistake. It's a, it's a, oh yeah, it was a warm mistake. Yeah, that's right. That's a funny word. What? Warm mistake. Warm mistake. funny word. It's like bubble nugget or something. How's it a cake boss that you do this to see? It's confusing. It is. At least I don't have the right tools for the job. I mean, like... I'm literally using a plastic knife right now. This is, that's not a correct tool. Good point. I mean, like, the professional here grabs it. They don't use this on a cake boss, do they? They don't use a plastic knife, do they? That's what Boom. Cool, but... Look about as good as it's gonna get, man. Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, but the, I mean, the head is pretty simple. Because they have bought, uh, oh, actually, no, 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 no. That looks good already. That looks like that, that's ready for a pastry shop. Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. You guys might get hired from pure bliss. <laughs> like pure idiots. <laughs> Cake frosters. <laughs> the point is, it's just to have fun doing it. That's right. 
It's exactly right, Ferris. Let's keep going with it right there. Right. Mommy, you trying to be perfect with this? It doesn't work. Okay, that's looking pretty good, guys. So now you just gotta get a paper towel and clean the sides of, of the, or the bottom of the... The hey. that just go on, it just went on, right? Mm -hmm. Looks good. So now you gotta just clean it up. Can you use your fingers to clean it up? Yeah, well, that's disgusting. You're not good, man. Tasty. Tasty little cake. Oh, you're a good little cake. But we're supposed to get it wet. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I think these cakes gonna be your own personal cakes, guys. Mom, did you get wet? I licked them. Did you get wet? I did it a little bit wet after I cleaned it mostly up with dry. Well, it looks like somebody already got murdered on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want to know why they were red on it? Murder. Why? A squid well, murder cake. The blood on it, it will not get a, like, show a lot on it. Really? Yeah, that looks like a squid murder cake. Venom. Uh, which one? All of them. No. So. I want to watch uh, Venom versus Carnage. That was really good, actually. That was really fun. Okay, I'm going to stop it so you guys can clean the plate. All right. <laughs> this is good enough. Okay, so then at that point. This is good enough. It's great. Okay, do you know how you're gonna do, what design you're gonna do? Wait. So yeah, I'll do the, do you want me to do the triangle or the square? Um, probably, it's gonna probably take the best one. Part of the triangle? Yes, the triangle. Okay, so. So I'm gonna do a square. Uh, I'm gonna do a square. You got a what? Square. Okay, all right. So you have to just snip the little, yeah, the teeny bit of the, you know, you have a pair of scissors. Yeah. Wait, question mark? Question mark? I have a question. What? Oh, I thought, yeah, I thought it was a square. What? Oh, I thought, yeah, that was a square. But it doesn't get on top of it though, right? Yeah. Oh, I would be cool though. You could like cut a big square and you shove it in the middle. Yeah. You know what would be cool, Mom? You know what would be cool before, before we do this? You know what would be cool? If you cut a square out of it and you put that in there. Oh, what Oh, but you'd have to frost it. That'd be different. Little, 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 Definitely ain't the best. Yeah. I'll admit that. I mean, like, if you do an outline around it again, yeah, that's better. That's better. It's a lot better. A lot. Oh, no. That's just sad. wonder what it tastes like. Alrighty. Wait, wait, let me go with this. Why are you using... So ah! That just made it worse. Don't film this part. It's supposed to be bad. It won't pause. Are we going to the cake? Where's the frosting? Grandma stole the frosting. Grandma stole the frosting. Grandma stole the frosting. Did I have my sleeves up? Squid game. Mine looks like a squid game. Can make me a cake when I become 100 years old. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, you, know you can come back and relive this day. Good luck. Good luck. 
Got it? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> no, I would feel so bad. Ha! Good. I've heard it. Okay, guys, there you have it. You got your own little squib cakes for your next TV game party with your friends to hang out with. Nice thing to do. <laughs> if you want to see the four full tutorial, click the link in our bio for our YouTube channel or search up Mama Mia's Cooking Adventures. Hey. Bam! Moist. Oh, no, no, no. Moist cake. Bam. <laughs> Moist cake. <laughs> Bam. Oil. Bam. 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 Break it. <laughs> Measuring cup. cup. <laughs> oh, nom nom. Wash hands. <laughs>